Good morning all. Um, I'll be presenting a paper assessment of effective sewage management. Um, I'm blessing Chiroma from Nigeria. Introduction. Sewage is a major carrier of disease from human waste and toxins from industrial waste. The safe treatment of sewage is thus crucial to the health of any community. The growing cases reports of epidemic disease at various states in Nigeria have become a source of worry to every right-thinking individual. It is based on that I intend to focus on sewage management and control of epidemic diseases. Two major driving forces behind water and wastewater management has had a significant impact on public health as shown by the increased mortality and morbidity rates with corresponding decrease in life expectancy. Um, the way of summary, um, after the analysis using percentage, some of the problems faced by sewage management is lack of enlightenment, full knowledge of its risks. It is not properly managed and its benefits to health if it's being managed well. As such, the residents should be informed and guided in sewage management and also know that it know that it's their responsibility as well to take care of their immediate environment not just government responsibility. Sewage management is very essential to human life since sewage is a major carrier of diseases from human waste and toxins from industrial waste. For any environment to be free from health-related diseases, sewage needs to be properly managed and be checked from time to time. Um, relevance of the research. The research of this study will enable all arms of government, health, inspection officers and the general public appreciate that waste sewages are properly managed effectively. It will reduce the contamination of sources of water and air pollution thereby reducing the risk of affecting the health of the pu public negatively and therefore reduction of epidemic disease in a community. Background of the research. Improper sewage management and its corresponding negative effects to the public. The way sewage is managed in the country could be the reason for disease outbreak being experienced in our public health. With visit to some densely populated area in some parts of the states in the country, in particular Kumo town of Akko local government of Gombe state, one will notice that the amount of poor sanitation being applied by residents such that they could be prone to any epidemic disease. Uh, two major driving force behind waste and wastewater management have had a significant impact on the public as shown by the increase in mortality and morbidity rate with corresponding decrease in life expectancy, just as I've mentioned earlier. The steps and structure, um, the step and general structure of the survey is to assess the attitude of Kumo residents towards sewage management. Structure questionnaire is used for data collection of the study. A purposive sampling technique was used to select samples from the population of Kumo town residents. Total number of 110 questionnaires were administered to the samples selected for the data collection. Frequency counts and percentages was used to analyze the data from the survey. 
in a tabular form in which each question is analyzed in a particular table and the interpretation of table and source of data is given below each uh, table. Results of the study. After the analysis using percentage, some of the problems faced by sewage management is lack of enlightenment and full knowledge of its risks, if not properly managed, and its benefits to health if it is being managed well. As such, the residents should be informed and guided on sewage management and also know that it's their responsibility as well to take care of their immediate environment not just government responsibility to avoid to avoid endangering their health and avoid and avoid or minimize risks of harm in conclusion most of the house at Kumo doesn't contain standard sewage but locally opening or passage coals are made for wastewater to drain from either toilet, bathroom, kitchen, plate washing to the environment, at some street, even to the roads, passage and the entire environment, including sources of drinking water or water for domestic use, which the wastewater gets to contaminate. As part of the recommendation based on the findings of the research, the Department of Local Government Environmental Protection Authority, Department of Health, Department of Land and Water Resources, Department of Urban and Regional Planning should really get involved in educating the general public of the needs for proper sewage management. And also, and all this department should also get involved and play their role in ensuring proper sewage management. Thank you for listening. That's the end of my presentation.